napag-uusapan din kayo. Diba? So, ikaw in general, how is your heart right now? Yeah! <laughs> Ayan! Kita niya yung tama! Kinilig, diba? Oh, kasi... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dito mismo sa Louise Lessons mangyayari. Bella, kayo ba ni Josh? Hi guys! Welcome to Louise Listens. At syempre, isa sa napaka-espesyal na bisita natin ngayon dahil ang kasama natin, isa sa mga OG na vloggers. Kung hindi siya nag-vlog, malamang walang YouTube ngayon. Kaya may YouTube ngayon dahil sa kanya. Please welcome on Louise Listens, we have Bella Brissett. Hello! Hello everyone! Hi, Hi Bella! Si Bella kasi has been vlogging for seven, seven years. Seven years. Alam ko kung baga wala pa nga yung term feeling ko na vlogging. Vlogging, exactly. You were already doing it. Yeah. Okay, bago yan, gusto ko dito sa aking show, eh nagsisimula tayo ng mga tanong na pampainit muna. Ang unang katanungan para sa'yo, Bella. Papapiliin kita kung ikaw ay magiging isang superhero. Anong power ang gusto mo? Napakabilis mong tumakbo, pero may hita ka? O nakakalipad ka, pero hanggang tuhod lang ang lipad mo? Nakakalipad. Nakakalipad. Okay. Tapos nakapagyan naman pag ano, may hika ka, tapos tatang. Nakakalipad ka, pero hanggang tuhod lang. Okay lang. So lahat kami nakatayo, pinapanood ka lang namin lumipad na gano'n. Di sana naglakad ka na lang din. Okay lang at least, ano, less effort. Less effort, okay, okay. Papayag ka ba na ikaw ay maging immortal? Immortal. Pero comatose ka. Ano yun? Pero immortal ka. Comatose ka nga lang. Okay lang ba sa'yo? Gulong, gulong siya sa usapan. Okay, so tingnan natin kung ano yung mga ginagawa mo sa buhay. Sabi nga natin, you're an influencer, you're a vlogger, you're a student, you're a daughter, syempre. Paano mo nagagawa lahat ng yun na, say, 24 hours in a day? For the past seven years, I think I've been balancing everything nicely because I always have a planner with me. Before, I was always reading in the planner. Okay. Then now, it's like digital. Na lang. I have a, a Google Calendar. Naman. So I keep track of all of my schedule there. The mga bagets are in Google Calendar. <laughs> yes, na lang. as in color-coded. Okay. Like for green school, this pink, work, parang ganun. Hindi ka na na-overwhelm? Or kung baga, hindi mo na pinapaabot doon? I get overwhelmed. Like sometimes, nagkakasabay talaga school and YouTube. Especially recently, kasi final week ko. And okay. then, since it's the holiday season, mas madaming postings because I get to work with a lot of brands yeah. during this season. So, nagkakasabay talaga. So, I always like to talk to my manager, Miss Diane. Everyone ngayon nagbablog, di ba? You have your vloggers, you have your artists turned vloggers. Mm -hmm. Ikaw nagbablog ka na, so paano nagsimula yun para sa'yo? I was 13 years old. Super uso yung mga international YouTubers back then. Okay. So sila yung pinapanood ko before. And then I was inspired to do the same since idol ko nga sila. Okay. But during that time, we weren't allowed to have social media. We were only allowed to have Facebook. Okay, this was sa, sa, sa bahay? Yes, sa bahay. Okay, okay. Sa bahay sa Wait lang, sorry. Nabutan mo ba Friendster? Oh, no, eh. okay, yes. Okay. During that time, ayun, Facebook lang pwede. So I kept it as a secret when I started my channel. Tapos, I was making my YouTube banner, yung parang channel banner. Okay. Tapos, nakita na ang ate ko, sabi niya, ano, that's Bella. Tapos, tumakbo siya kayo na mami na, uy, si Bella, si Ara. Ara kasi tawag sa akin sa house. So, si Ara, my YouTube channel. They watched my vlogs and they were super surprised kasi I was known to be a shy and timid okay. person before. So, super na-shock sila na, ah, nagsasalita pala si Ara. Paano nga yung transition na yun? Kasi kung alam nila, yun ang pagkakakilala yeah. nila sa yun, diba? Na you're shy. Yeah. Kasi when you vlog, you're putting a big part, part of yourself of out there. Yes. Diba? Both in a good way and a bad, bad way. <laughs> so, ikaw, kung nandun yung pagkataong mo na shy, ano yung naging giant step na yun na, okay, ilalagay ko yung buhay ko doon online? Because when they found out, I was super scared if matutuloy ko pa ba itong vlogging, vlogging career or not. Kasi I was waiting for their reaction. And their reaction was very positive. Okay. Because they really um, saw it as an opportunity for me to put myself out there, to express myself. Because yun yung kulang sa akin when I was a kid. I was very shy. I couldn't express myself fully. And I think they saw it as an outlet for me to show my real self. 
Trivia, sabi ko nga, isa sa mga pinakaunang nag-vlog, di ba, si Bella. Alam niyo ba kung saan talaga nagsimula? O yan, ah, tuturo ako ah. Okay. Baka iniisip nila kasi puro ako kulit eh. Iniisip niya puro ako, sinusubukan ko magpatawa. Kung saan nang galing ang kauna-unahang vlog. Nabanggit ko na yata dati, di ba dito? Yung, uh, yung history of vlogging. Nabanggit ko na ba? Hindi pa. Ay, hindi pa. Seryoso? Alam niyo ba saan nagsimula ang vlog? Saan? Trivia. Ano, ano, saan? Bang! May nagbibideo. Nagka-camera siya. Nag... Tapos, eksakto, tumatawid siya, may bangin. Ah, nagbibideo siya. Okay. Nahulog. Nahulog siya. Totoo to. Sige, kakali niya. Jujok ako. <laughs> Nahulog talaga siya. Tapos, yung pagkakahulog niya, tumutok sa kanya yung camera. Okay. Tapos, ka-vlog. Hindi <laughs> tumag <laughs> sa kanya. Okay. I support, I support your joke. Ang mukha ba, Candela? So sabi ko nga, at a very young age, you put your life out there. So the good part, it's always nice when people appreciate what you do. Paano naman doon sa mga hindi? That's, I think, one of the cons of being a public figure. Yeah. You're very exposed to people who won't like you and they will always look for something negative to say about you. Yung, yung sinasabi ko, hinahanapan ka ng mali. Nang butas, oh, yes. Okay. Nang butas. So yun, sabi mo nga, from a shy person, tapos bigla na lang makakatanggap ko ng mga bashing, mga ganyan. Mm -hmm. So ikaw, pa paano may hinahandle yun? I think I'm very, I'm proud of myself for being unbothered ever since. Parang never talaga akong sobrang so, so. naapektuhan. Tao din naman ako. Okay. I get affected sometimes. Pero like most of the time, I don't get affected because I like to choose my battles. Like I don't want to waste my energy on something negative and people who don't really add value to my life. Ang daming sumusubok ngayon, di ba? Na maging, maging uh, influencer, maging vlogger and all. Anong advice mo na pag nakakaramdam na sila? Kasi it's new para sa kanila. Mm. Yung mga bashing, anong, anong best tip for them? When you have bashers kasi, it can mean two things. First one is you might have done something wrong. So just take it as constructive criticism. Okay. And then the other one is you might be doing something right. And like what I said a while ago, when people see you thrive or when they, when they see you as someone above them, yes. they will always look for something to say negative about you. Itadagdag ko kasi minsan, and ito, nangyayari sa akin, and I'm sure nangyayari sa'yo, it happens to everyone. May mga tao na alam mo naman na they want their opinion to be constructive. Yeah. Na yung gusto nilang makatulong mm -hmm. talaga sa sa'yo. Meron din naman talaga na gusto ko lang ibaba na tao. Exactly. Diba? They so, always want to bring you down. I think it's not just limited sa industriya natin. It happens sa napakaraming tao. Is ang tao hahanapan ka ng mali kung ayaw ka lang talaga nila. Yeah. Ito, kaya nilang ilaban na kulay putito. Kung... <laughs> totoo di, totoo yeah, naman, yeah. di ba? Kaya nilang ilaban na kulay putito basta ma-prove nila na kulay puti para lang ibaba ka. Diba? Yan, ganun lang yun eh. So it's nice at a young age, sabi mo nga na you already have that mindset na kung may dumating man sa'yo, it's either you're unbothered or you use it as something very, very constructive, hindi ba? So okay, eto, grabe to sa Google search. Grabe, 10th, diba? 10th, wow. kung hindi ako nagkakamali. 10th, ikaw, ang nasa 9th ay rilyenong dilis. Huh? <laughs> ano yun? Sorry. <laughs> Alam mo ang dilis? Dilis, yes. Alam mo ang rilyeno? No. Hindi ah, mo namang relieve, no? Pag ginagawa sa, ano, sa mga isda, diba? Obviously, dilis nga, diba? <laughs> Tapos nalagyan mo ng mga kamatis, nalagyan mo ng mga sibuyas. Okay. Wag na natin ituloy yung joke. <laughs> Naka-joke na ako. Natawa na kayo. Okay na yun. Okay, so how does it feel na sa dinami-dami ng uh, influencers, vloggers, ikaw baga, <laughs> nandun yung pangalan mo? I was also shocked when I saw that. Kasi I was being tagged by my fans na parang, oh, you're part of the most searched, searched sa uh -oh. Google. Like, why? Why me? Uh, <laughs> you want to put myself in danger? Yeah, I mean, simply, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, but I wonder why. <laughs> you know, living your life in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. Ano ang tinitira mo para sa yon? Because in expect ng mga tao dapat all out ke. Yeah. The same exactly. thing as artists. Yeah, Parang yeah. they believe na basta na sa tapat ka ng camera, lahat ng aspeto sa buhay mo dapat at pwede pag-usapan. Yeah. So ika, where do you draw that line? I think most of my viewers know that I'm more on the private side. Like, when I started, nga, I wasn't allowed to have social media. Okay. So I think part of it is I respect my family's privacy. Because okay. from the very start, I nila mag, mag, maging public. Okay. And because of me, parang medyo naging public yung life namin. And I like to keep most of that private because I really respect them. Also, since I'm not a very vocal person, I'm not open with how I feel, with what I've been experiencing. That's like the private side of my life. 
I just show what I want them to see. Parang ano siya, no? At a young age, parang old soul. Di ba? Yung parang uh, yung uh, very mature ng iyong soul. At sulitin na natin to. Dahil siyempre, uh, paminsan-minsan lang makasama si Bella. So, dito mismo sa Luis Lessons mangyayari. Bella, kayo ba ni Josh? Nang uh, SB19, nagkakulam na ba kayo? Kasi galing yung mga yun, SB19. Ay, hindi, hindi pa. Hindi pa, hindi pa. Hindi mo nakamulunong sumaya. Galing yung, galing yung mga SB19 na yun. Si Josh, malipit din yun. Akala nyo na naman, no? Mga marites kasi kayo. Mga chismosa. Balikan mo na natin yung isa pang aspeto ng buhay mo, ang puso mo. Ayan. Kita nyo yung tawa. Kinilig, di ba? Kasi... Mm? Mm? <laughs> Mati so, ko na mula din. <laughs> kasi yung mutatak, oh. Okay, okay ito talaga okay. sa iyo. Kaya pala. <laughs> so, eto, kamusta naman? Kasi, of course, hindi naman tayo mag-mamaang-maangan. Uh, di ba? You watch the news, you go on social media. Um, Napag-uusapan din kayo. Di ba? So, ikaw in general, how is your heart right now? My heart right now is happy. Oh. Minsan yung ngiti lang, though. that's all it takes. Hindi na kailangan pahabain pa. Di ba? Hindi, totoo naman. No, because eh. I'm being surrounded with people na who radiate good vibes and people who really add value to my life. So, paano mo dinadagdag din yun? Yung uh, pag dumating sa puntong yun, uh, being an influencer, a student, di ba? Tapos, paano mo idadagdag pa yung matters of the heart? May priorities ka bang ginagawa? Kung sakali man. Priorities? Oo, oh, kumbaga, una talaga dapat studies. Parang oh. everything has to adjust. Um, or hindi kaya kailangan, uh, this week, kailangan unahin ko lahat YouTube, mm -hmm. tsaka family, ganyan-ganyan. My top priority now is studies nga, since it's finals week. And I think for the past seven years of being a student vlogger, academics talaga is my top priority. Like, kunyari, ang dami kong deadlines for um, school. I ask Ms. Leanne talaga to move most of my work deadlines if di ko na talaga kaya because I don't want to sacrifice the other. T Tanong ko rin, is it easy ba na parang everyone in school knows a bit of you or a piece of you. Dumadaan ka sa school minsan na lakad-lakad ka lang, yeah, di ba? Yeah. May mga tao na dumadaan ng isang buong college yeah. course nila na hindi sila nakikipag-usap masyado. Pero eto, every time you go to school, parang it's safe to assume that people know who you are. I don't feel that way ngayong college. Yeah. I, felt that, I felt that when I was in high school, but now in college, like, people don't really care about you. And I think it's better that way. Okay. Eto, you've done so much. I believe that you will still achieve so much. So, ano pa ang gusto mong idagdag doon sa mga titles na yun? I think now, I just want to graduate. <laughs> yun talaga? Yes. It, it, it's safe. Are you planning on still doing something else? Do you want to talaga mag maging corporate ka? Or you want to focus on your YouTube and what's going on right now? Yeah, after I graduate, I really want to focus on being a full-time content creator. Because now that I'm a student, I can't really exert full effort or like I haven't reached my full potential as a content creator because I've been balancing school and YouTube. Okay. So after I graduate, ayun nga, full time content creator and soon I want to start a business also since I'm thinking of business management. I want to use some of the learnings that I got from school to love. Saan may papasok doon ang... Uh, kung sakasakali man, after, kasi that's yeah. a good chunk. Wag ganda na upo ko, no? Parang, di ba? Hindi ko bahay ito, ha? It's a, that's a good chunk of your time and priorities, yeah. di ba? Mas makakafocus ka rin ba sa matters of the heart? I think so, yeah. You can always make time for people you love. Well, it's nice kasi, I mean, first time ko rin talaga nakasama si Bella. At nakikita ko na you're, you're setting a good standard um, for, you know, for your followers, for content creators, uh, di ba? Very, very young age. So it goes to show na kung ano yung mga good influence na nagawa mo ngayon, magtutuloy-tuloy pa yan into so many good things for other people and for you. So thank you very much thank for being much. here on Luis Lesson. Sana nag-enjoy ka. Sana, sana. Happy ka naman sa Luis Lesson. Thank you. May gusto kong batiin. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. Hello, thank you very much. Thank you From so one Lipeño to another yes. din. At may isa pang Batanggen yun dyan. But God bless you. More content. Yes. And ngayon pa lang, congratulations on your graduation. Thank Coming you. Soon. Thank you. Manifesting. 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 Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Uh, clap. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much sa inyong lahat sa panonood ng Luis Lessons. God bless you guys. Stay safe. Be kind. Bella, maraming maraming salamat. Okay? Bye, guys. Bye-bye.